there, tech fans. Rick here again with a full review of the Ankbit RT5008 Bluetooth headphone and transmitter set for your TV. And I know that's the way that Ankbit likes to describe this kit because it works perfectly with a TV. So for example, if you want to watch TV late at night and your entire family's asleep at that point, and you want to watch an action movie with a lot of noise and a lot of loud sounds, this is perfect to connect up to your TV, put on the headphones, and nobody can hear anything, but you're enjoying that show. But I really feel like it's not doing it justice because this kit does so much more than just act as a TV receiver with a set of headphones. For example, you've got a transmitter here that uses the very latest version of Bluetooth 5.3, which is low latency, and it can pair with other devices. So if you've got AirPods, you've got other Bluetooth headphones, you can connect this up to your TV or your stereo, and you can have Bluetooth transmissions of that audio to another set of headphones. So you've got a beautiful transmitter. The headphones will pair up with other transmitters. So this is a Bluetooth device, it's noise canceling, it's got low latency built in, it's got a microphone built in, so you can pair it with your phone, you can pair it with your tablet. You can actually use a cable that they include to hardwire it to something. So they built a kit here that works perfectly fine if you're looking for a way to watch your TV late at night and not wake up the entire family. But again, you're getting so much more here that you can use in a lot of different ways. And I'll get into all that in a minute. But I'd like to start with an unboxing just to show you everything that's included with the kit because they have given you every possible connection and product you need to use this right out of the box. And I want to spend a few minutes because one of the big differences between Ankbit and a lot of other companies that sell Bluetooth headphones and transmitters is they don't give you any accessories. So you open up the box, you got the headphones, you got the transmitter, then you're hunting around the house trying to find the right cables to hook it up and charge it. They give you everything you need. And then what I'll do is take a closer look at the transmitter and the headphones because I want you to understand how you use it, what kind of connections are available, and basically how you get it working once you get it home. And then I'll come back one more time and remind you of a few things that really separate this particular set from a lot of the other Bluetooth headphone sets that are on the market out there because there are a lot of companies that make a kit like this that may look exactly like this, but they haven't got the advanced technology built in that Ankbit has put inside this unit. And Ankbit's a company that's been in this business for a long time. They make high-end headphones, they make a lot of different Bluetooth transmitters and receivers, so they understand that topology of connection over a Bluetooth connection between the transmitter and the headphones, and they've really built this to be an incredibly advanced system that works great if you need it to connect up to a TV to privately watch your show at night when everybody's asleep, but it also can do a whole lot more than that. But let's get into the unboxing first. All right, so when you first pop open the box, you'll find the headphones. Now, these are great looking headphones. They've got a really soft cushion around the ears on the inside. They've got microphones on either side in the back where they can listen to background noise, noise cancel out so you're not hearing all that background rumbling. There's a microphone built in, so again, you can pair it with your phone, your computer, your laptop, whatever, and you can actually use it to make conference calls and pick up conference calls, pretty cool. Nice little soft piece up top here. A lot of these headphones I find, they really kind of limit this up top here, and you've got this plastic, this hard plastic that goes along the top, and if you wear them for an hour, or so you've got this band on your head. This is really nice, man. It's got a nice, smooth, soft cushioning up top there. And all the controls along the one side that you can control the volume, you can turn it on, turn it off, you can mute the microphone. Done a great job with that. All right, so the transmitter is incredibly versatile as well. What I like about this is along the top, It'll verify the connection you've got between the transmitter and your device. It'll light up an LED and let you know you've connected over optical, you've connected over analog. It'll also identify the audio codec that it's currently transmitting to the headphones because this is using, again, the latest version of Bluetooth 5.3. So it handles all the modern audio codecs over that Bluetooth standard to the headphones. And it's nice to know exactly what you're listening to. And I'll talk about that a little bit more when I show you the closer look. All right, so let's talk about the cables because, boy, are they giving you a lot of cables. So for starters, both of these will operate off of a USB-C connection, and that's important because that's the very latest USB standard on the market. They give you two cables. So they give you a cable you can charge the headphones with, they give you another cable you can power the transmitter with. Seems pretty simple, a lot of companies don't include these, and again, you're out there looking for those. They include a really nice case, so if you want to put the headphones away, you've got a case to put the cables, the headphones, the transmitter in the bag, everything is organized. So when you're done for the day, maybe you're using it temporarily and you're thinking, all right, I gotta put it away, you got a pouch to put it in, so you're not gonna lose a cable. Let's talk a little bit more about the cable. So you can connect this up to a TV or a stereo in one of two ways. You can connect it up through an optical cable, which is an SP diff. They give you the cable. So if you have a TV that has an optical output, connect this up to your TV, plug it into the back of the transmitter, and you're ready to go. You can also connect it up through an analog connection on the back. Now an analog connection is the older style connection where a TV might have a headphone output, or it might have two of the older RCA jacks. Well, guess what? They give you cables for both of those. So here's a three and a half millimeter analog 
into analog. So you can plug this into the headphone jack, plug this in the back of the transmitter, and you're off and running. They also give you, and this is unbelievable, they give you an RCA to analog connection. So it's two RCA connections to a three and a half millimeter stereo connection. Plug it in the back, plug this into the older TVs, and you got audio. The other thing I didn't mention about the headset is even though it's a Bluetooth headset, you can operate it as a direct wired headset. They include a cable that converts the USB-C port to an analog connection. So if you've got an older tablet or older computer that doesn't have the ability to connect over Bluetooth, you can use this cable, plug it into the headset, plug it into your computer, and just you can talk and you can listen to your music. So that's pretty cool. That's also handy if you forget to charge the headset because if you're out of power, it's not going to work, so you can use the cable and still listen to music. Then the last thing I'd mentioned about this already, the last thing they give you is a full manual that explains everything you could possibly want to know about the headset, the transmitter, the cables, the connections. I mean, reading through this, you're going to get all the details you need to understand how to connect it, what kind of specifications it has, what kind of codecs it can support, all the important things that are really something you want to know about a product you're buying. So always read through the manual to get the best value out of the product. All right, so let's talk about the headset. It's a rechargeable headset. It takes about two hours to fully charge it. You'll get between 40 and 60 hours of use. So you could watch the entire uh, epilogue of Game of Thrones and probably make it through just fine with this headset. But the thing is, you're going to forget to charge it. So knowing I've charged it and I can get a couple of weeks of listening out of it is a great thing. You can charge it in two hours to full. Five minutes will give you an hour or so worth of listening. So if you're in a pinch and you come downstairs and you found that favorite movie you want to watch and the family's gone to bed, you've made your popcorn, you sit down on the couch and there's no power in the headset, plug it in for five minutes. You're going to have enough energy to listen to that movie. All right, so the headsets are great. The transmitter and the headset, again, use the very latest 5.3, which is the latest Bluetooth standard. And the reason that's important is because if you're using it with a TV, unlike music, where when you're listening to music, if there's any delay, between the music playing on your stereo being transmitted across that Bluetooth connection to your headset, you're not going to really notice it. A couple of milliseconds of delay, it's not that big a deal. If you're watching a TV program and there's delay, you're going to notice it right away because as humans, we can pick up on that lips moving and the sound isn't matching the lips. And it used to drive me crazy when I was younger because I'd watch one of those Kung Fu movies and the lips never matched up. Well, this has low latency technology built in, which means you're going to get complete synchronicity between what's going on on the TV and what you're listening to in your headset. And that's super important for using it with a TV. A lot of other sets you can use for music, you try to use them with your TV, it's going to, again, you're going to notice it right away, and, and it's just really, really annoying. So this one's got the low latency capabilities that allow you to watch a show and have the synchronous audio come back to your headset perfectly fine. So I think it's a wonderful set, and like I mentioned, everything you need to get started is included, so it's a really simple kit to use. Now, if you stay tuned next, what I'll do is take a closer look. I've talked about the cables. Let me take a closer look at the transmitter and the headphones just to explain the controls and how you connect it. And then I'll come back at the end. I want to remind you of a few things that I really like about this particular kit because I think Ankbit has thought about how you're going to use it and they've really given you everything in the kit that makes it a pleasure to open up the box, connect it up to your TV, charge up the headphones, and just sit down and relax. A lot of other kits don't have all the parts, and you're going to take a long time trying to figure out what plugs into what, and boy, what cable do I need, where do I find that cable, it's just a nightmare. With this one, it's a piece of cake. You just open the box, plug it in, start listening to your TV shows. It's a great product. So stay tuned, I'll take a closer look next, and then I'll come back with some final thoughts. I'll start with the headphones, and the first thing you'll probably notice is that both of the ear cups are labeled right and left, and that's to help you orient them correctly in your head for the best stereo effect. There's also a smaller label right there. You can see the R and the L, and that's handy because if these are sitting on a table with the cups facing down, and you go to pick them up, you can easily see which is the left side and which is the right side, so you put them on your head correctly. Now along the edge of the right cup, you'll find several controls. Starting on the left, it's a multifunction control. You can tap that for two seconds to turn the headset on. If you need to repair this to another device, you can hold that down for a couple of seconds and that'll actually put it in pairing mode. Then you can discover it on your phone, your tablet, your computer, and make that pairing happen. You can also key the voice assistant by tapping it twice. So it's a multifunction button. Next to that is a plus and a minus button that control the volume. So if you want it louder, tap the plus. If you want it lower, tap the minus. Next to that is a mute button for the internal microphone. This unit has an internal microphone that can be used for conference calls or if you're on your phone or your tablet. If you'd like to mute that microphone, just tap that button. 
Then finally in the bottom you'll find a USB-C port right there, and that's used for charging the headset. You can plug the cable that's included with the kit in here and into any wall charger and fully charge these in about two hours. And you can use a wall charger, your computer, or even an open port on your media device and charge it through there. Another feature which is really nice is that these can also be direct connected to older devices that can't pair over Bluetooth. So they work great as a Bluetooth pairing headset, but if you want to connect it up to older devices that may not have the Bluetooth capability, they include a cable that you can plug in. It's a USB-C that plugs in here to a three and a half millimeter audio connection on the other end. So you can plug this in and use it as a wired set of headphones. And what's nice about that is that maybe you forget to charge it and you still want to use it. You can plug it into your tablet using the three and a half millimeter audio cable there. Now, one other thing I want to point out about the electronics is that on the back, you'll find these two little marks right here and they almost look like USB-C ports. Those are little screens to let audio into the headphones to enable that noise canceling. So it's got to be able to hear the outside noise and that's where that noise comes in, is right through those two little ports right there. The headsets themselves are really well constructed, really nice soft cushions around the ear, so it's going to knock down any background noise in the room. Really nice cushion up top too, so if you have them on for a long period of time, you're not going to get that big band over the top of your head that a lot of headphones uh, will cause because they've got a hard plastic top, so nice and cushiony up top. So great job on the headphones. All right, let's talk about the receiver next. So the receiver is really straightforward. On the top, you have several controls. These are Bluetooth pairing controls, so if you need to pair a second headset, you'll hold this down for five seconds, and that'll actually start the Bluetooth pairing. This comes paired for headset number one when you open up the box, so you don't have to do any pairing, but if you need to repair them, just hold down this one to pair to one, hold down this one to pair to two. Volume controls right here, depending on what connection you're using, you can increase or decrease the volume. And then at the top, you've got several indicators that let you know what connection is active, so either USB, auxiliary, or optical, and what codec is being used at present, because this will support a wide range of different audio codecs. So it's kind of nice that they show you what connection it sees as valid and what codec is currently active. Now, the only connections you'll have to make are on the back, and you'll find several ports there. Starting on the left, it's a USB port, and that's used for powering the device. You can use the cable that's included. Again, plug it into a wall charger, plug it into your TV, or plug it into a computer. To the right of that is an optical connection. That's an SP diff. So if your TV has an optical connection, you can use that. They provide a three and a half millimeter analog audio in, which is an auxiliary port. So if you've got an older TV that doesn't really have the ability to do optical or you know Bluetooth, you can actually use a hard uh, audio connection there from the left and right analog audio. Then finally on the right is an on off button where you can turn this on and turn it off. So you have complete control over when it's on and how you use it. I hope that closer look was helpful. Now, here are a few key things to keep in mind. Let's start with the transmitter. The latest version of Bluetooth 5.3, that's super important. I can't stress that enough. A lot of other transmitters use older versions of Bluetooth, and they talk about it being synchronous, and they talk about you know the no latency between the transmissions. If you're not on the latest version of Bluetooth, you're not getting the best that's out there. So Bluetooth 5.3 is included in the unit. Another key difference about this transmitter is that you can actually pair up two sets of headphones. So you can use the set that comes with it, you can pick up another set from Ankbit, pair it to the transmitter, and you and somebody else can listen to that same program at the same time, perfect synchronicity. You can also pair up other people's Bluetooth headsets. So you can use this with uh, channel number one. Channel number two might be a set of AirPods, or maybe you've got another Bluetooth headset that you already own. You can pair it to the transmitter and use that. So it's a wonderful product from that perspective. Another key difference is that these are paired from the factory but you can absolutely pair this with a second device. So you can have it paired with your TV if you want to watch the TV show at night. You can also pair it with your phone or your tablet or your computer. So during the day, maybe you're using it for conference calls. And what a wonderful way to expand the use of the product. So they really built a lot of key features in there. It's also got noise canceling built in, which means if you're in a noisy environment, maybe you've got kids at home or there's something going on in the office, you put those on, everything gets quiet. You can hear the conversation perfectly. They can hear you perfectly because there's noise canceling built in for the microphone. So everything you want in a headset is right here. The headset alone is impressive. The transmitter alone is impressive. But the two together as a pair, that's why I said at the beginning of the clip, what they've built here is a wonderful way to privately listen to TV shows and movies at night when your family's sleeping. Um, and that's great. I do it all the time. I watch a lot of action movies. My family goes to bed early. I come downstairs. I settle in on the couch. I put my headphones on. Nobody's bothered by the noise. That's one way you can use it. But you can use the transmitter with other headphones. You can use it with your home stereo. You can use the headset 
with other people's Bluetooth products. You can pair it to your phone, your tablet, your computer for conference calls. You can even hardwire it to your computer if you need to, if it's an older computer. So I think, again, what Ankbit has built here is really the perfect Bluetooth combination of headset and transmitter to fit a lot of different needs that consumers have. So I like it an awful lot, and I also love the fact, I know I'm stressing this, that they've included every possible cable you could ever need to connect this thing up at home. I think that's a wonderful addition. So that's pretty much all I had for today. I like it an awful lot. I think you're gonna like it an awful lot as well, and that's all I had. So thanks again for watching, and until next time, as always, stay nerdy. Mm -hmm.